Hi, my name is Rita Perea and I'm the Garden Guru. Welcome to my lower level garden room. This is where I spend a lot of time in the winters uh, doing things with my plants and today what I'd like to do is show you how to start seeds for your outdoor garden inside. So it's um, almost mid-March and I've purchased a seed starting package here. And you can see we have this um, plastic seed starting kit. It came with some little uh, pellets that I've already put some water on. To um, These are the little biodegradable soil uh, pellets. And this particular seed starting kit has a watering mat, a watering tray and a watering mat. And so this will keep the seeds moist at all times, which is really important when you're starting your seeds. I've decided today that I'm going to start some Blonde Coffin Sherry Tomatoes, and these are my favorites, and some squash, some Black Beauty Zucchini. Now I want to tell you a little bit about each of these. Um, I got these from something called Seed Savers Exchange. So these are heirloom, and the Blonde Coffin means little blonde girl and they are cherry tomatoes they're usda organic and um, they were found in germany so they come from germany and the seeds are very 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 tiny and they're kind of difficult to work with but we're going to plant some of these seeds today and there are probably about maybe 50 seeds in this package now I also want to tell you about the Black Beauty Zucchini. These seeds are much larger. They are also USDA organic from the same place, Seed Savers. And these were actually 1957 AAS winners, the American Selection winners. And so we know that um, both of these seeds are from very old lines and they're tried and true. And most importantly, I think they're organic. So. We're going to start with our zucchini seeds, and our zucchini seeds are, they're kind of large. They look like pumpkin seeds almost. And so what we're going to do is we're going to simply put a seed in our medium here, our plant medium. And then I have a little tool that I used, just a little stick, and I'm going to gently cover that seed. Make sure that it's covered in the plant medium. I'm going to put one right next to it as well. Push it in there. Cover it up. So it's really quite easy to do. Just put the seed in. Cover it up with the plant medium, with the soil. can use my little stick again if I want to. Get that seed nice and covered. There we go. So it's really pretty easy to do. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to work on those tomato seeds. Now, what I'm going to do is this side is going to be for my zucchini plants, this side is going to be for my tomato plants. Each of these plants have different germination times, and they have different times that they'll be. Um, ready to be planted outside and all of that is here on the back of the package so it's really easy to do this and because you're planting so many seeds you can see how small those seeds are because you're planting so many of them and you might not have room for 25 or 50 tomato plants it's okay if one or two of them doesn't work out it's not a big deal you're okay with that so I'm going to put two seeds in each, each of these little um, seed containers, each of these little planting mediums. So you can see my two seeds there. Okay. And this is how I do it. I just pour them in my hand and then uh, put them in the planting medium. I'm going to pour those back into the envelope for right now. And I'm going to make sure that these little seeds are covered because we want them to have good planting medium around them. 
We want them to grow big and strong and have their roots grow nice and strong so that when we're ready to transplant them outside, they'll be all ready for that. Now, what I'm going to do after I get all of these planted, I'm actually going to label them. So I'll label this side zucchini, this side blonde coffin tomatoes, so that I know where I planted them and how many plants I actually should expect. I'm also going to give them just a little tinge of water, just a little bit, even though the planting medium is nice and wet, I'm just going to give them a little bit of water, just like that. And because this is a seed starting kit, this is going to drain down right into that tray that I showed you, and it's nice and self-contained. And then to finish it up, our seed starting kit has a nice little dome. And this is going to keep the um, humidity in for our plants. I also have some little uh, plant heat mats, mats that I'm going to be putting under these to keep the seeds nice and warm. And those are electric and we'll, we'll plug those in. So. That's how you start some seeds inside to be able to be uh, transplanted outside after the danger of frost is all finished. And it's really fun and it's a great way to spend these uh, winter uh, wonderland mornings planting our seeds. I'm Rita Perea and I'm the Garden Guru. Thanks for watching today.